Sometimes it's exactly what makes you cry, exactly what makes you confront yourself and what is super uncomfortable. Exactly these moments sometimes are the ones you should be thankful for because they carry the potential to unlock something very fundamental inside of you. Let's say like this. Yeah? You have a field of knowledge, you have an area that now at any time wherever you are going in this lifetime, you are able to access it. And when, when are these times to access it? It is times when you are being placed in a situation where you need to take a decision, for example. No matter from which country you're coming from, no matter from which culture somebody is coming from, this whole life is based on the decisions you are taking. Some people take that type of decision, which leads to a consequence. Other people maybe take better decisions, which leads to another consequence. Ultimately, it's about the decisions. But how come sometimes people are confronted with the same situation, but they take completely different approaches, they take completely different um, decisions? It is because one of them has more or the other one has less access to knowledge, to experience than the other one. So what all of this theoretical learning, practical learning, what all of this is supposed to offer to you is just a whole bandwidth of solutions, which we think is very good to have walking through this lifetime, not only as a martial artist, it doesn't matter from where you come from. The more possibilities you can access, the better for you. Before you were taking, now it's time to give. With your thoughts, you create the world. It's not easy to understand that sentence. And it's not obvious. It's not so obvious as it sounds. Because everybody, of course, would now say, yeah, just because I'm thinking there should be no war in this world, doesn't mean there is no war. Well, because it's the misinterpretation of it. Because this is not how it's meant. This world outside that we have war, that we have poverty, that we have crime, all of these things, it will always exist. It will always exist. So what world is it for you to create with the thoughts? It must be a different one. In the past two, three years, I, I have to say I travel quite uh, to a lot of different countries. And what I see there in a way is that humans have the same issues in every country, regardless of nation and culture. There are some things there that are just connected to being human. At the same time, I realize that some nations, some cultures are very much embedded also in the way of how they were brought up, meaning with a very specific type of looking at the world. Another part of, the, of, of this world has other ways of looking at the same problem. Everybody is looking for the solution of their issues. 
And sometimes there is not only one answer. Sometimes the answer from them is correct and the answer from them is correct. Because sometimes the answer and the solution is based on the person itself. Because potential for me means if a human can think it, it's there. And so from this example, I can just see that what nowadays is happening is that a lot of Eastern insights, Eastern methods, for example, are on the one side being more and more exposed in the Western world. And then it seems like the Western world now is trying to, to counter with some insights that the Western science and the Western culture maybe has developed. And I just think both of them are right. And eventually we're talking about the same stuff and not against each other. Yeah. So, and in that sense, um, very, very glad and very thankful if there are people that are maybe famous out there, if they also sometimes share the methods, even so they are coming maybe from another area. It only tells me, okay, maybe he got it. Maybe he understood that it's the same, it's just not, I just speak another language. With the way of how I speak, I can reach a certain group of people. With the way of how another person explains it, for example, Joe Rogan, the way how he talks, he reaches another group of people. But what is it that is reaching them? A message. And this is the important part. I don't care. how the message is reaching them. I want the message to get out. It can be sent out, it can be... There are many different channels how to get messages out. For me, important is it needs to get out. How? I don't care. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to support projects like this, please head over to mulliganbrothers.com. Go follow us on social media at Mulligan Brothers. Have a blessed and productive day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you to Master Shihung Yi and the Shaolin Temple Europe. If you want to hear more from them, go to shaolin.online and see some of their free resources and courses available there.